Hello everyone. Uh, the boat that we're looking at is a 2002 Boston Whaler 170 Montauk. Uh, a lot of custom things have been done to this boat, including the Minn Kota iPilot 80 pound trolling motor. Uh, this boat came from the factory with a full bow rail. So what I did, I installed a hinge system on it that allows you to either remove the center section or just swing it open long enough to get the the trolling motor out. As you can see, this section will pull in and it will go right across over to the other side. Right now I just got it pulled out of the way, but you can remove it all together, which does make it easy to board from the front if you're on a sandbar. Uh, trailer is the original easy loader trailer. Uh, it does have a spare tire. It is a painted rim for that. Uh, the boat spent most of its life in the freshwater uh, we did replace the cooler in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the same exact replacement from what it had, 72 quart igloo. You've got your backrest. does have a stereo system with four speakers. Uh, and in here, your battery setup is two tw uh, group 27 batteries for the trolling motor setup, as well as another large cranking battery. I've never had to charge the battery system in the time I've owned it. We do also have um, a battery charger in here that does charge the trolling motor batteries as well. Your plug-in for it is right here on the side of the console. Uh, the trolling motor, they did not pre-wire these boats originally, so the trolling motor plug is going to go in on the other side of the console and plug in. Uh, the trolling motor setup does come with its own depth finder up front. So when you drop the trolling motor in the water, you've got a four inch depth finder. So if you're trying to work shallow areas and don't want to have to come back to the console to find out your depth, you will have a, uh, a trolling, excuse me, a depth finder up front. Uh, it does have the Lowrance HDS 7, I believe it is. Um, stereo system is over here as well. It has VHF radio. It is unplugged under there because it's easy to bump the power button right on the front of it with your knee. Um, and where we're using this boat, we don't really use the VHF, but it can be plugged back in under the console. Antenna, I've just got it standing up underneath the Bimini top. The Bimini top has the stabilizer straps on the front. It is made of all stainless steel. Uh, but when you with those stabilize the straps the bimini top doesn't move I'm shaking the entire boat without and there's no creaks and rattles when the bimini's open In spite of it having the poles at the back. It also has the stabilizer straps So the very strong bimini you can run wide open with it on this boat You're not gonna blow it off. You do see the seat cover over the console seat There is a cover the match it that goes for the console. We also have a full custom boat cover uh, that will go with this boat to cover the entire boat. The bimini would need to be laid down inside the boat to do so. The engine is instead of a 90 which all of these boats came with it is a fuel injected 115 four stroke. Hours are under 450. We could provide uh, we can plug it in to a computer as you can see for yourself, but there is an hour meter on the dash and I verified it's very close when I plugged it in with the computer. And just to show you the boat cover, I do have it laying in the garage, so it's a little dusty, dirty from being out in here. Uh, but the boat does come with that as well. There is also a fuel water separator installed. Uh, the boat was just serviced, uh, the engine I should say. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email back. Oh, and the tackle drawers in here as well. We use it for storage. We don't really fish the boat that very, that that hard. The previous owner fished it in the fresh water a great deal. Thanks for watching.